Um, thank you, everyone, for joining. I uh, appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend an hour doing some, some exercise with me. Um, real quick, uh, happy spring. First week of spring. We just uh, crossed into the equinox, so it's going to be getting warmer here, uh, finally. Um, I live in North Carolina, so we don't get any snow, but it was sleeting out the other day, so kind of weird for first day of spring. Anyway, um, so today I'm going to review um, what I did earlier in the month. Basically, as June said, we're going to talk about hands, wrists, and forearms, um, exercises to stretch and strengthen uh, and give you a little more, hopefully a little more mobility and sensitivity uh, in those areas. Um, I'm going to talk real quick about me. Um, we'll do some exercises, then we'll open up the floor for uh, some conversation. Um, if you need to drop off or you want to watch this again at some time, we do publish these videos to the FSHD Society uh, YouTube channel. So you could uh, go find uh, a rerun of these there if you want to, uh, to find that. Um, and there's also a blog uh, that's off of the FSHD Society website. Um, our standard disclaimer, or my standard disclaimer, is understand that I'm not a professional person. I'm a, I'm a patient. Um, I practice Qigong and Kung Fu and Tai Chi. Um, and I found success uh, with uh, practicing those, those uh, particular types of exercises beneficial to me fighting back against the FSH. So um, I'm, that's why I'm showing these. That's why I'm here. Um, if you're not sure about doing any of these exercises, please don't. Um, you can watch along and uh, ask uh, questions to your um, professional care provider and I'll get their opinion and and try it at your own pace. So um, that's my standard disclaimer. If you're if you're new to the group um, in the chat, if you might want to be able to just type in new. Um, if you're a return customer, um, maybe type in return. So just to give me an idea of who's who out there. Also, um, I have a handout in the background here that I'm reading from. So if you want a copy of that, you can um, put your email in the chat and I can, uh, I'll be happy to send a copy of that to you. Also, um, a couple of new things. Um, I've, I have a resource page that I've compiled, which has got just got links to handouts, links to videos, and links to other resources. Um, I'm putting that off of my website, which is called um, frankhanley.com. So if you want to go there, um, there'll be links to um, to the handouts and some of the videos and things from, from these sessions. I also um, host a Facebook group called Qigong for FSHD, which has uh, more exercises on it if you want to find that and uh, join that, uh, that group. Um, I, I publish more videos up there of other exercises. And I also created a new email for people to reach out to me if you have questions which is simply qigong, Q-I-G-O-N-G, qigong for F-S-H-D. So it's one big word, qigong for F-S-H-D at gmail.com. So if you're, you're shy and you don't want to talk here, and you just reach out to me and I'd be happy to, to try to answer your questions. My experience with F-S-H, um, I was first noticed symptoms when I was about 18. Um, when I was in my late 20s, early 30s, I started to get a foot drop. Um, I went to uh, the MDA clinic in Edison, New Jersey, and got my first diagnosis there. Um, in 2012, I went to uh, Johns Hopkins to the FSH there, or the um, MDA clinic, and uh, I did the genetic test, so it came back positive uh, type 1 FSHD. Um, spring of 19, I uh, stumbled into the FSHD Society. I attended a meeting up in Philadelphia uh, in the springtime. And then in June, I, I retired and I moved to South Carolina. I uh, kept in touch with the FSHD Society and they asked me to start and we founded the FSHD chapter in uh, South Carolina ran out of Myrtle Beach. At the time we did a launch, official launch in uh, February, 2020. 
followed immediately by the COVID shutdown of everything. So we were doing a lot of stuff uh, via Zoom. And then I started the uh, FSHD for um, Qigong for FSHD Facebook group um, to share videos that I was that I was creating. Um, I've been doing Qigong and FS or Qigong and Kung Fu for about 30 years. Um, I started training in New Jersey. Um, when I moved to Maryland, I was training in Delaware. And uh, 2019, I was awarded uh, Qigong certification, uh, instructor certification, and I do national meetings and demos and uh, speaking engagements and things like this. So uh, that's Frank Hanley in about two minutes. Um, any questions from anyone? Let me open up the chat here before we get going here. Uh, any questions from anybody? If you do have a question, you want to just post it in the chat or you could... Um, uh, and I've had the chat off to the side here and June monitors it so we could uh, address your questions as as we go. Okay, so any questions on um, anybody from last time coming back and, and doing some of these and have any questions about um, having any issues with the practice or whatever before I get started, just uh, uh, unmute and, and, and let me know or we'll get going. Good. Everybody thumbs up. Everybody has their camera active. We'll do a thumbs up. Okay, so we talked about um, wrists, hands, and forearms. And just to uh, go over a couple of things uh, to start, um, what I do do is um, with some of these exercises, get yourself a small dumbbell. Um, good for, it's not heavy, and it's good for flexing your, your wrist. Um, I also use... A, um, a wooden dowel um, as a wrist roller. We'll talk about that later. And I also use a rubber ball to squeeze. Um, this one I stole from the dog because he stole mine. Uh, so you can get one that fits your hand. This one's a little big. This one's a little better. And just sit, you know, watching TV. You can just squeeze it 100 times each hand. Uh, that gives you good. And actually, you can even, you, you, rubber ball is good because you get a little flex in it. Alrighty, and uh, those are the kind of the tools I use when I do these exercises. Let me put them off to the side for now. Okay, um, so another thing I will talk to you about is, um, yeah, uh, there's a note. I will, I'll go over the emails uh, when I'm, uh, before we close out, okay? Um, so hand shapes. So open hand, if you want to just follow along, because I'm going to kind of bark these out as we go, so you know what I'm talking about. An open hand is, uh, these are you know, open, closed palm, open palm. All right. A snake is this form of a kind of level, like a snake head. So we're doing, we'll do, doing these kind of exercises. Uh, a fist, proper way to make a fist, fold your middle finger into the center of your hand and tighten all your fingers. Tuck your thumb underneath so you have a flat surface out here. Don't wrap your thumb over the top. We want to wrap the thumb in the back so you have a flat surface. So that's a fist. And the last one is a claw. So if you hold your hand open and then bend at the second knuckle and bend in, your it's a tiger claw or a claw hand shape. All right, so we'll be doing uh, some of those too. All right, we'll, we'll vary hand shapes. We'll be doing some stretching with that in a moment. Okay, um, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so let's do some warm ups. So um, I'm sitting uh, in, a, in a, a pub chair. So I'm going to just turn the camera down so you can see my hands better. I'm going to cut my head off a little bit, but that's all right. Um, so let's start out with doing a couple of warm ups. So if you want to um, hold your hand as, as if you were uh, holding a doorknob and just turn. Knuckles under, knuckles up, knuckles under, knuckles up. If you can't hold your hand up like I am, you can easily put them down at your sides and do this. So, and we can do both hands at the same time. So we just do this little turn the doorknob, um, which sometimes might be quite a challenge also. Okay. And we're just turning the doorknob a few times. All 
All right. And then the next one is if you turn your hand, uh, so your palm is facing, my, my right palm is facing to the left side and uh, grab the back of your hand and push your arm out, stretch your forearm out, push out and back and out and back and out and back and out and back and then switch so your left palm is facing the right side hold it steady and push your arm out and back out back out back out and back All right switch back to the other hand we're going to go out we're going to come back and then we're going to turn the fingers down so roll your hips down, out, and back, and roll down, and back up, out, and back, and roll down, out, and back, and roll down. Switch hands, out, back, roll down, out, and back, roll down. Out, back, and roll down. Switch hands again. I'm going to go out. I'm going to come back. I'm going to roll down. And then we're going to sink. So sink your wrist down into your waist. I know you can't sink your wrist down. Out, back, roll fingers under, and then sink. Out. And back, and roll under, and sink. Out, and back, roll under, and sink. Switch hands. Out, back, roll under, sink. Out, back, roll under, and sink. Last one, out, and back, roll under, and sink. Good. Okay, grab your, um, I'm grabbing my right wrist with my left hand, and I'm just going to make circles with my wrist. I'm going fingers down and up, fingers down and up, Fingers down, so I'm kind of going counterclockwise here. And then you want to go clockwise. Switch hands. Go, I'm going clockwise with my left hand. And I'm going to go counterclockwise with my left hand. All right, it's wrist circles. Um, let your hands, so if you're holding your hands up, let your hands very loose and just shake them out. Let your fingers, no, there's no tension in your hands at all. Nice and, nice and loose. Okay. And then the last warm up exercise is for our thumb. If you Hold your hand out straight and take your thumb and cross your hand with it and back, out and back, out and back. You can do these both hands at the same time. The tip of your, if you've been following along with these, I talk about, sometimes I talk about acupuncture and acupuncture points and the um, meridians. Uh, so Qigong and acupuncture are very related. Um, Qigong is like acupuncture, but you don't use the needles um, and you exercise your meridians to keep your chi flow strong. Um, the end of your thumb is the uh, end point for your lung meridian. So exercising your thumb is good for strengthening your lung energy. So that's why I like to do thumb exercises. Okay, now um, circle your thumb. All 
right? This is kind of a weird feeling because you don't do this much, all right? So we come in and out and we circle. All right, so those are all the warm ups. Any questions with warm ups? Let me look at the chat here real quick. So, yes, Rick, I get cramps too. <laughs> Hopefully, if we do these enough, we'll, we'll uh, start to eliminate some of the cramping. Um, and let me real quick, um, I gotta get my mouse to go where I need it here, just a second, folks. Let me real quick. Um, I mentioned I've got, um, it's, I'm putting this in the chat. Um, if you want to, the link to the resource page is, well, folks, um, the frankhanley.com website that's in the chat. And the email, I'm um, sorry, June, I created some new ones to, because Qigong can change your life.com is kind of confusing for people. So I'm trying to simplify that. And the other one is Qigong. or fshd at gmail.com. And if you are a Facebook user and you go on to Facebook, um, search Qigong for FSHD and you'll find my Facebook group where I do uh, these exercises, okay? So that's in the chat there. Um, anybody have any questions? Feel free to raise your hand or on my un unmute or just type in the chat. So those were the warm ups. And if you're just joining, because a few people joined afterwards, um, you want to copy the handout of what I'm doing here, just put your email in the chat and I'll get that to you. Okay, so let's do hands uh, first. So um, what I talked about earlier, if uh, just to repeat fist shape, we make a fist. All right, so let's start out with a fist. And then we're going to open our fingers as wide as we can and make a fist. So open, close. So we want to open and close. So you want to open and spread your fingers out as wide as you can and close, make a fist as tight as you can. Okay, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, Close. And then you want to add a little variety to this. Hold your hands, palms up, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Hold your hands out to the sides, open, close, open, close. There's no, no value in that other than it just breaks the boredom of doing this. All right? So however you want to do it is fine. Hold it tight. Hold it open. Tight. Open, tight, open, okay, and relax. Shake it out. All right, the next one is finger tapping, and I'm going to do this on a board so you can see what I'm doing. Um, just a piece of wood. You can do this on a tabletop. So what I, this is really is, is using your, like your hand is a spider, just your fingertips are touching the tabletop or if you have something in your lap like me, and you're just gonna gently tap your fingertips on the tabletop. And you maybe wanna do this, uh, if you don't wanna slam them, but this is just gonna help create a little more sensitivity in your fingertips over time. Um, we do an exercise in Kung Fu class called um, the Iron Palm Training. And this is one of the um, Iron Palm exercises. So it um, strengthens your hands. So you just do about 100 of these a day. Um, and it's just really, if you wanted to hinge your hand and just drop your hand, that's really the, I'm doing it simple here. But you ultimately want to get to where you're, using it a little, a little, with a little more force. But for the sake of right now, starting these, we're just gonna do light tapping with our fingertips, okay? 
And again, it gives you a little dexterity in your fingers. This is going to, that, that little jolting is going to get into those joints and um, uh, increase, increase blood flow and do a lot of, a lot of good things in your, in your fingers. So, um, also, I was just curious if folks are here from the last time, how did you feel um, on uh, two Fridays ago after uh, we did those exercises? I hadn't done a couple of those in a while, especially with the weights. So, my, my forearm is a little sore. <laughs> I'm sore, sorry to admit it, but that was the case. Okay, so that's finger tapping, all right? And that is simply just, uh, you'll, you will definitely start to feel the, the um, benefit of that one after uh, you do it for about a month. If you do it daily and you do it um, a couple of, or like a hundred times a day, uh, and again, these things you can sit and do as you're, as you're sitting and, and watching TV or whatever. Wow, where did I go here? I'm up. And next Okay. All right. Oh, there's one more thing. One more thing I, I, I neglected. This is a, a, one of the warm-ups. Kind of got my my slides jumbled up here. So going back to, to as a warm up, we want to do is we want to touch each finger to the thumb. So we're going to take the starting with the index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, pinky, ring finger, finger, the next finger. So one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Just put a little dexterity in your fingers. So that's another warm up. You want to try that one when you have time. I'm sorry, I skipped over that one uh, in the warm ups. For some reason, my my um, slides jump forward. Okay, so the next hand exercise. Um, is similar to the fist, but we're going to make a claw. So if you remember from if you're joining us later, um, hold your hand open and then bend at the second knuckle and then pull your thumb in. So it's kind of like a tiger's claw, right? So we're going to hold our hands open and close to the claw, not to the fist. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. So it's working that other set of knuckles, uh, really, because we're, we're flexing from the second knuckle, not the, not the first knuckle now. And again, for variety's sake, if you want to hold your hands the other way, uh, hold them down at my sides. I'm holding them out at my sides. You can do this however you want. Uh, let's do 100. I'm kidding. We'll, we'll do 10. Okay, hold them open, claw, open, claw, open, claw, one more time, open, claw. Good, all right, shake them out. All right, and the other two exercises in the hands were the thumb ones. I for some reason, I had my, my slide jump forward and I didn't notice. So again, the thumb real quick across the front and circle. So you can do them both hands. Again, you're, you can change your hand position. It's no big deal. If, you're you're, if you can't, I forgot to mention this, if you can't hold your hands up for whatever reason, simply lay them on the tabletop. You should be able to Open and close your hands and do all these with your arms lying on the tabletop. All right. Questions for hand exercises? Anyone? Play the Jeopardy music while we're waiting. No, nope, everybody with me? Everybody's got their cameras off, so I can't tell if you're even there or not. <laughs> the crickets are chirping. All right. Okay. So I can't ask you to give me a thumbs up because I can't see you. So I'm going to assume since no one's talking to me, 
everybody is good and we will move on. We're good. It's just these are really tiring, especially uh, for me. For they're really tiring my forearms. So excellent, excellent. Who's that speaking? I can't tell. This is Marlene. Hi. Sorry, Hi. I had to turn the video off because I'm moving around, find, to, trying to find a comfortable place to sit because I'm, I'm in a hotel room. I got you. Okay, no problem. But this is good. It's good timing for you. You said yes. Okay. Okay. So there's a question here. Does it matter if wrist is bent or straight? Your wrist for, for what exercise, Rick? Can you, can you elaborate? I want to be sure I answer your question correctly. The one you were just doing, the, uh, you were doing the claw, but if I bend my wrist, then it's a lot more stress. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm, the wrist is, is relaxed when you're doing these. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so whatever relaxed is for you. Um, like I said, if you're holding your hands flat on a tabletop and just doing the claw, um, that would be the optimal position. If you're looking at me, I'm not, I mean, so you're bending them in like this or bending them out? How are you bending them? Just I, I bend them up and, and that was a lot them out? more this stretch. Way? Yeah, like that. Just like okay. that, yeah. Yeah, well, you could do that, but that's putting, that's, that would, if you, you're actually jumping ahead because we're going to do that for the forearm, not for the wrist. Okay. For the hands. Yeah. So for these, it's a hand exercise. We're just exercising the hands. The wrist and the form are, are not involved at all. We'll involve them in, in the next slide. <laughs> Thank you. Good question. Thanks. Okay. Um, so that was the hands. Uh, we'll move on to the wrists. Um, we did the, the, the um, circles uh, to, to warm up. All right, we circled uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. So um, let's go back to that. Um, I, I'm holding, um, I'm going to do these with just one hand. Um, you can do them with both at your, uh, your, your leisure, um, just so we can get through uh, this ex these exercises in a timely manner today. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just do these. I'm, I got my left hand holding my right wrist. And I'm going to make um, a circle with my wrist. Again, we did these as warm ups. I'm circling um, clockwise, and I can circle counterclockwise with this to loosen up. Okay. Now, if we're holding still, we're going to make a fist. And this is where we can get into what Rick was asking about bending. I got to get in my camera here. I'm going to turn the camera down a little. So, what we want to do is we want to. Um, hold our hand uh, flat, and we want to curl the wrist, the hand up um, to you know, get some stretch on the, the back side of the wrist. All right, so we're going to come up and down. We're going to do a curl here, and the fist is loose. It doesn't need to be a tight fist. So we're coming up and down, exercising the wrist, the top of the wrist. You should feel it in the top of your wrist and um, some forearm here also. Okay, so again, you can do these with both arms. I'm just gonna do it with one arm for the examples here so we can get through uh, timely. Okay, so we're doing wrist curls uh, like this. And then once we're done with those, let's do three more. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, to relax that, now we're just going to do uh, circles with the fist. So one direction and then the other direction. So we curled, create some tension in the top of the wrist here. Curl, relax, curl, relax, curl, relax. And then to relax and loosen the wrist even more, we could do these circles. Okay. The next one is um, to let your palm drop and pull it up. So now we're exercising the back side. Uh, so palm facing down, your wrist is hanging. I don't know which way is good to show you here. And then we're gonna raise that wrist up and create tension at the top of the wrist. Now let your palm drop and come back up. 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up. Okay. And then the opposite of that is really the curl again, but now we're not in a fist. So this this is putting more more um, on the on the wrist, uh, and there's not a lot of um, tension in the forearm. We're doing these with an open hand. Okay. So again, palm down and raise it up. Works the top of the hand, top of the wrist, palm up, works the bottom, okay? All right, next one. Uh, we talked about the snake shape earlier. So a snake is, so your fingers are together, your thumb is tucked in at the side. So your hand kind of looks like a snake head. Holding our wrist again, and we're going to move our hand um, left to right, side to side. Okay, so the exit exercises, we were working the top and bottom of the wrist. Now we're working the, the side of the wrist. Okay, so we're working in all directions. All right, so we go side to side, and then we could also do up and down if you want to, but the side to side is really the benefit here. You could do these palm up or palm down like I'm doing. We'll also do them vertically if you want. Okay, like the tomahawk chop. All right, side to side, and vertical up and down. Whatever is more comfortable for you or what feels better for you. All right, that's the snake hit. And again, we work your uh, left hand uh, later on today. Okay, next one is, again, the wrist curl, but we're going to really use a tight fist this time, and that's going to create a little more tension in the the top of the wrist and the, and the forearm. So we're going to um, curl that arm. I've got to get myself in the camera here and hold it and release. Tight fist, curl and release. Tight fist, curl and release. Two more. Curl and release. Last one, curl, tight fist and release. Okay. And then um, just to, again, go back and talk about using the weight. Most of um, all of these wrist exercises that I just did, um, you can use a weight. So the curl, the, the circles to warm up, all right? This is a, what is this here? Hold on. Uh, this I think is three pound, um, a one pound, a three pound, whatever you're comfortable using. Um, and if you don't want to use a weight, but you want to hold on to something, this is a, a very lightweight wooden dowel, but at least it gives you something to hold on to uh, when you're doing these. So we did the curls or the, the circles, clockwise, counterclockwise. Um, the wrist curls, where you're curling your wrist up and down, uh, one direction, opposite direction to work the, uh, the other side of the hand. Okay, so you can use any of these uh, with the weight also. Okay, up and down. Up, sorry, up and down. Hold it, relax. Hold it, relax. Hold it. Relax. So again, that's wrist exercises with uh, with weight. Okay. Um, 
Jumping back to the hand for a minute, if you didn't come on, if you came on late, um, talking about using a ball, um, just squeeze. Um, you're sitting watching TV or, or talking on the phone or whatever. Um, just can squeeze and relax uh, a ball in your hand. You can do it for pound or for time, um, however you want to do that. Um, different size ball. Um, does make a difference. Um, and then you can hold it out in your fingertips. I'm sorry, I have trouble with the camera. I'm going back. I'm looking at it and I realize I'm reversed. So I'm squeezing the ball to my fingers here versus squeezing the ball to my fist, right? Different grips works to different muscles in your fingers and your hands, right? So mess around with different grips. Like if you were ever a baseball player, a pitcher, you always had different grips when you threw the ball. So um, fingertips. Knuckles wrist, palm, okay? So mess around with that too when you want to. Uh, let me check here. Um, upper arm. So Rick, Rich, Richard, sorry. Um, yeah, all your shoulder, yeah. I understand the shoulder issues. If you go back in the videos, we did do some, some shrugs and some exercises for the shoulder. So if you go back to the FSH um, Society YouTube channel, um, I think the September... Uh, uh, September session, we did, uh, I did some breathing and we did uh, shoulders and neck. So uh, maybe that'll be helpful to you. Let me know if you can't find that. I'll reach out and I'll help you find, I'll send you the links to that. Um, Amy, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, I've been dropping things too. That's why I've been doing these more often. I, I was folding socks the other night. I hate to admit that, but um, like every other one I was dropping for some reason. And I'm just wondering if that's due to I'm losing um I'm losing the dexterity in my hand to be able to, my brain thinking my hand is holding something and it's not, big things are falling out. So um, these are hopefully help with that. Um, okay, questions on the wrists, anybody? Any questions on the wrist exercises? Okay, so um, the last set is the forearms. I'm doing 12.45. Okay, I want to try to finish up so we have some time for discussion. Um, so we did those exercises in the beginning. So I'll just review those again if in case somebody came out late. Um, my right palm, my right top of my back and my hand is facing to the left side. I'm going to grab onto that. I'm going to push my arm out. Let me fix my camera. Push my arm out. I'm going to bring it back in. I'm going to roll my fingers under. And then I'm going to drop my wrist into my lap. So we get a stretch out. We stretch under, and then we stretch down. Out, under, down. Out, under, and down. So the thing with these is to keep your thumb on the back of your hand, so it kind of controls it, right? Not in your fingers, but on the back of your back of your palm. So you know, stretch that down, stretch that out. When you twist, this should be twisting your forearm out. Twist it under, and then drop it for a stretch on the top of the wrist. Out, under, and drop. I'm going to do these on the other side. I've been doing everything on my right hand, so my right wrist is getting a little worn out. Under and drop. Stretch out. Stretch under and drop. And you could do any of these. You can do these all by itself. You could do these all by itself. And you could do these. All by itself. I just combine them because it's easier to demonstrate. Down. Last one. Out. Under. And then drop. Okay. 
We did these other exercises um, with the for the wrist, but they're also good for the forearm. So I just want to go back and couple, bring these in um, like we were doing earlier. We're going to make that fist and we're going to curl that wrist up. So you should feel tension from here, you know, down into your forearm, your forearm muscle. Okay, and then you relax. And actually you can drop the wrist back. You can do these curling in both directions, curling up and curling back. And if you wanted to throw the weight in here, curling up and curling back. If you turn your hand upside down and do a reverse curl with your, your dumbbell weight, um, works the top of the forearm, okay? And the other side. Good. I'm going to do the next set with my left hand because like I said my right hand is getting a little fatigued. Um, finger support heaven. Okay, it's a uh, a form that we use for um, uh, in uh, kung fu. Uh, the hand shape is called the finger support heaven, where you're holding your fingers, your wrist back and creating tension in the top of your wrist. So that st stretches and strengthens the muscles at the top of your, on the top of your forearm. So finger support heaven. So what you do is you go from, from relaxed to finger support heaven where you've got a lot of tension up at the top here. And you should feel that tension from here back to your elbow. This mu the muscle right along the top there should be nice and tight. All your forearm muscles should be nice and tight holding that hand shape, right? And again, you can do these both wrists at the same time, both forearms at the same time, and you relax. So you wanna do it for a count of 10, and then relax, and so we're gonna go up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and we're gonna relax. I'm gonna go up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and relax. And we'll do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and relax. Okay, now shake them out. All right, and the last one that we've got is, you might have seen this one um, around. So you take a, I have my wooden dowel here, and we're just going to roll the wooden dowel. I'm rolling it knuckles, knuckles forward, knuckles forward. So if you want to do that, let's do 100. I'm kidding. So we want to do that. All right, and then we want to do knuckles back. All right, now what you might have seen this is you put a hole in here and hang a string and tie a weight to the bottom. You'd roll the weight up and then roll the weight down and then roll the weight up and then roll the weight down. I am weightless here. So we're just going to do this for demonstration purposes. But so you understand this is giving your forearms a good workout, okay? And you might say, why well, you ever try to turn a screwdriver? Uh, this is that, that motion, that twisting motion, right? So I like doing this with the, with the wooden dowel. All right, so that's, that's the last one of the forearm exercises. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, oops, sorry. Okay, so any questions on any of that? I got a couple of things in the chat here, stand by. Um, uh, compression gloves, no, I don't use compression gloves. Um, the ones with the copper in them, um, or any the only gloves I use is when I go to the gym, I, I have a glove just so I don't get calluses, but I don't use any type of a compression. I do compression sleeves on my knees. 
um, because they're weak. Um, I had to have surgery on one, and so I keep them wrapped to protect them. But I don't do gloves, and I have done one, done one for ankles. I'm reading from Rick from Knoxville. Um, done one what for ankles, Rick? Um, can you elaborate? Well, it's it's just that these are great for the the uh, wrists and fingers, but a lot of us have issues with our ankles and balance, and it seems like there'd be nice. Uh, key gong of uh, exercise for the ankles too in a similar fashion. Okay, so um, I will take that as a rec suggestion for another session. Um, yeah, yeah, I do. Um, and, and if uh, I'll, I'll put together um, an hour of ankles and, and feet and calves, how's that? And we'll do that. In a Sounds minute. great, thanks. Coming down the road, yeah. Um, the one thing I do do um, is, and I don't know if you can, um, I don't know what uh, your situation is, so I'll just say, I do do toe raises every day. Um, if you're, you know, sitting feet flat and I just raise my, 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 my heels off the ground uh, and hold it for a couple of seconds and then drop. So those are ones that I do do. I, because of my foot drop, I, my left um, is way weaker than my right. So I always am doing it next to a chair or a railing or something in case I do lose my balance. But um, for the sake of of that, yeah. Um, and, and I can get some other, I'll get some other stretches together. Uh, okay, that's a good suggestion. Thank you very much. Thanks, I forgot you have drop foot. That would make it more difficult. Yeah, well, but um, on the other hand, it's it's useful because um, if you don't do anything, it's not a good thing either, right? The other leg is good, so I've got to keep that one <laughs> as good as long as I can, right? Right. All right. Any other questions, folks, on any of these exercises or um, like Rick just did to chime in and um, is there anything people may want to see uh, in a future session or is there um, anything folks do beyond what I just did that they might want to share with the group? Uh, I'll open the floor up for some, some discussion. We have a few minutes left. Foot, ankle, and calf. Throw knees in there while we're at it, right? Someone just added neck to. Okay, so um, I can do neck. Who's S thirty three? Um, I, I don't know. Is that? Can you unmute and talk, please? No. All right. Well, anyway, um, if you're listening, um, neck. Yeah. If you go back to, um, I, I'll I'll do. Uh, some next stuff, um, but I already did. So if you go back to um, the September or November videos on the uh, FSHD Society YouTubes, uh, okay, Rick, thank you. Um, there's videos where I do neck and shoulders. So there's three neck exercises that I, I, I demonstrate and a couple of shoulder exercises, basically shrugs um, to keep the upper shoulders and neck uh, to loosen up. And I've got a whole slew of neck and shoulder stuff. If you're interested in more, um, just let me know. But check out those videos first, if you can. I will, uh, um, if you want to, uh, Rick, if you didn't, leave your email. I've got, uh, uh, I've got two Ricks. I've got Rick of Knoxville, and now we have uh, S33, Nick. Um, leave your email, and I can um, send you links to those uh, videos, okay? Um, if So you save you from trying to search for them. All right. Uh, anyone else have anything you want to share? Uh, I'd have one last comment. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Well, I was given uh, this putty to strengthen my wrists from the physical therapist without too much instruction other than just kind of mold my fingers into it and pull it apart. And I did that for a while the first day and my hands hurt for days afterwards and I couldn't pick it up again because my hands would remember how difficult that was. So I appreciated your exercises because it seemed to be much more balanced. 
and that I wouldn't get that effect the same way. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, and I'm not, um, I'm not, I don't know whether the putty forced you to do, did it force your hand into certain positions or it just molded around your hand? I'm, I'm, it's like silly putty. Uh, it's a, but it's a, you know, enough to fit into your wrist so you would squeeze it tight or right. pull it apart. But you were, you know, it was, it was, it doesn't seem like much until you overdo it. Right, right. Yeah, you got to be careful with these that you don't, where you don't fatigue yourself because that's where you do, do some damage. Um, you start out slow. Like I teasingly said, do 100, but I would start out with 10 and maybe in three months you'd be able to be up to doing 100. Uh, of these because it's just uh, and then slowly add like like you know do it do it for a month or two um, empty handed and then add the one pound weight um, don't try to do a ten pound wrist curl because you won't be able to move your arm for a week so I, I would be very very careful with starting out slow um, one thing we did with those finger taps we start out real easy with those and after six months you're working your way up to where you're hitting kind of hard because you want to, you want to develop not only the sensitivity, but you want to, you want to, that shock is you want to gradually teach your, your, your hand or your body part to um, adjust to that shock. Cause every time you hit, you know, there is a, a shock going up. It's like jumping up and down. Your knees are going to be sore after a while. Um, so you want to gradually develop some, some um, resistance and some, um, some you know, acclimate your your joints, especially your fingers. It's so small. Um, anyway, uh, thank you all. Let me see. Anybody else here got something? Uh, okay, good. So um, let me just finish up uh, with this. The next meeting uh, will be on April the thirteenth. So again, we meet every the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. Um, I don't have an agenda for that meeting um, to announce. Um, like I said, the, the best thing to do with all of these is to practice daily um, as, as, as much as you can. Do some is better than doing nothing at all. Um, questions, like I, I put my emails in here if you have any questions. Again, you can just reach me um, at uh, qigong, Q-I-G-O-N-G, qigong for FSHD at gmail.com. It's qigong for fshd spelled out. Um, and I'm usually here at these meetings unless I've got a, a big conflict I try to attend even when I'm not presenting. So um, thank you all for coming. Again, if you need a handout, shoot, type your email in the chat. Check out the blog. And thanks, everybody, for, for coming. And I appreciate it. And uh, um, hope to see you again. Okay.